Hey guys, we're hunting out here on Medved Taiga, and today we're gonna do something very different. We're gonna do a hunt, a trophy hunt, using only shotguns. We are carrying the Dengue shotgun in order to be able to hunt the big species like the moose, the reindeers, and the brown bears. The 12 cage Cachatore with bear shot for the Copper Kaylees, having the option to also swap to box shot in order to be able to hunt the most deers. And I'm also carrying the 16 cage shotgun with slugs. So we are gonna begin the hunt by checking these lakes. Right now is the end of the brown bear drink time and the start of the most deer drink time. So hopefully we'll find something interesting. Look at that. Level 5 brown bear, he's alert. A level 6 and a level 4 over there. Is there anything bigger? Man, imagine spawning a level 9 here, that would be crazy. I wouldn't be that surprised though, because this lake is amazing. So we're gonna shoot this level 5, using the Tengue shotgun, with slugs. Let's see. He's facing the other way. He turned around. Oh, we spooked him! We hit him! Not sure if good though. I feel the second shot might have been a viral, not sure about the first one. Let's try to spot him. Oh, he's going down. We hit a barrel. Not too bad. I mean, it wasn't an easy shot by any means, and that scope is not precisely meant to be used at that distance. A mythical. Alright, so the first shot on this level 5 was barely single long, we barely hit him, and surprisingly we didn't hit it on the second attempt. I could swear we did. Not bad at all to start the hunt. Okay, there's a moose. This area is very nice for multiple species, so we gotta pay attention. Hey, male monster, I wonder how big it is. I don't see it, where is he? We gotta try to spot as many animals as possible and maybe we'll find a diamond. I'ma shoot this moose. Oh, there's a capercaily. Hey, big capercaily, max estimate. Maybe diamond actually. The odds are very slim, but there's a chance. Let's drop the moose first. Can we hit the heart? Not a hard shot. Was it even a barrel? Yeah, she's going down. Now, what is the Capra Kaylee gonna do? He's flying this way. The worst decision he could have taken. So, how big is it? Is it a diamond? Hold up. Another Copper Kaylee, a female. And that's it. Now let's see the score of this smell. I don't think it is a diamond, but could make it. That would be crazy. But it's only 4.33 gold. Holy. We destroyed it. Look at all the hits. Now I'm really curious to see a penetration of the 10 gauge locks on a moose. Well, only a single lung and barely any penetration. And it isn't that the 10 gauge locks are bad, they have 45 penetration, which is comparable with some of the strongest rifle calibers, but it's just that the moose are tanks. Very underwhelming performance, a bit more penetration and we would have hit the heart. Another Capra Kaylee, 4 to 5 estimate. This one is a bit more promising than the last one. So it is definitely something we wanna shoot. Come on, buddy. Just take off. Oh, look at all the bears. Look at all the birds, there's a mythical. For some reason this Capra Kaylee never took off, so he's dead. And it is a 4.47, far from diamond. Now is it just me or that one looks like a melanistic? No, I think it is just a dark brown. Yeah, just a dark brown, not a rare. Okay, there's the mythical. Almost a hundred meters out, he's alert. This time we're gonna use the 16 gauge shotgun. It's been a very, very long time since the last time I used it. It isn't nearly as powerful as the 10 gauge, but it still should have enough penetration to reach a long. Or maybe the heart if he stands up. Not even sure if they ever stand up anymore though. They used to stand up shortly after going alert, but for some reason not anymore. Okay. That should do it. Yeah. 
he's dying real quick. A spirit mythical brown bear. That is by far the best thing we have seen today. Oh, he's big. 27.28. And 428 kilos of weight. Not too far from diamond. He's like 10 kilos shy from being a level 9. Alright, that is the first male moose we have seen today. It is a level 4, max estimate, currently behind a female. He's throwing. I honestly doubt we'll shoot another moose today. I really wanna focus on the brown bears and the monsters for this video, so unless we see a diamond or something worth shooting, I think this will be the first and only male moose we shot on this video. And that should have been viral. He's still not dying. So hopefully that second shot will help, he's going down. Max estimate wolf. 67 to 80 kilos, maybe level 9. Very close from where I got the moose. Now something important, the grey wolves are currently incredibly bogged on multiplayer, they essentially behave like zombies, in the sense that you see them and they are just walking without reacting to anything. They basically stay on a defensive state and they don't run. It's honestly super annoying because it's a bug that has been part of the game for years now and it completely ruins the experience of hunting wolves on multiplayer. They are okay on single player though. I think I hear him actually. Oh, look at this guy. No way! No way, he's a level 9 and he's not even the same access mate. It's a completely different wolf. And that is exactly what I meant. He's on a defensive state, not reacting to a player. It's honestly lame. So how big is it? Is this a diamond? No, he's a troll. 38.98. Alright. I won't complain though, it would have been almost a gifted diamond if he made it. Man, I can't believe it, that is a black old wild boar, a rare. I think we should probably start carrying shotguns all the time, they are giving us some very nice luck. We've been playing for like 1 hour and 15 minutes, and that is the second trophy of the session, if we count the troll as a trophy of course. Which frankly I think we shouldn't. I wanna think it was a barrel? Yeah, she's down. How many can we drop? That one is going down, I don't think we hit a barrel, but it's gonna die. I gotta say, I really love using this shotgun, especially with this scope, because if I use the other scopes, which have way more magnification, it almost feels like using a rifle, and that is not the point. The point is to make something different, and this scope is a perfect complement. Oh, hold up. I don't know why I thought these thingish locks were ethical for class 5. They aren't. We just messed all these guys up. Including the rare. I could swear they were class 5 to 9, but they're actually class 6 to 9. So yeah, we messed up this rare, but it's still a rare, so I'm attacks it. Nice trophy. Please tell me that is a melanistic. I think it is. A level 3 female, she's definitely melanistic. Sometimes it can be hard to distinguish them from the dark browns, especially when the lighting is not great, but I would say this time is very clear. I've been hunting a lot of brown bears recently, mainly because my goal is to get an albino, I still haven't gotten an albino, but I'll take a melanistic. They are actually way more common compared to albinos, but they are undoubtedly also rare. We are gonna shoot this pair using the 10 gauge box shot this time, which means we'll be forced to get very very close this time, because the box shot is only effective like below 20 meters. Okay. We should be like 40 meters away now. Hopefully she's still there. There she is. 36 meters away. We could actually use the color, but we're gonna need full cover. And those reeds will probably give us full cover. She's alert. 
Don't flee. I'm allowed the box shot. She turned around. And she's drinking again. Okay. Now we can take over. And it's time to use a collar. Come on. She's coming in. And getting close fast. Already below 20 meters. No way. She's gonna spook. I'm a shooter. Should be enough. Yeah, we hit a baron. Nice melanistic. Nice rare. Should we call it a day right here? I think we should. I mean, we just hunted this map for a whole week. So it is time to move on to a different map. Very nice trophy. Hopefully at some point we'll have the luck to find that elusive albino.